Well, so this afternoon, the National Steering Committee of the New Patriotic Party says it has officially written to Minister for Trade and Industry, Alan Kujitramati, in connection with a health walk organized last weekend in the Ashanti region to endorse him as presidential candidate of the governing New Patriotic Party. Dubbed the Drusu walk, Sam Stalwarts of the party, including Hope Senadoe, stoked ethnocentric sentiment, which resulted in a crossfire amongst the rank and file of the New Patriotic Party and factions who are jostling for power. Emmanuel bright Quickle was at that Drusu walk in the Ashanti region and comes through with this report. So this has been the Edru also held work by some party faithfuls of the new patriotic party who are yearning for the coming of the trades minister Alan Kojo Tremantin to lead the party in the next general elections. They've been thronging some principal streets of Kumase right from the Bekwai runabout through to Bantama, one of the powerhouse of the NPP during the elections. This is uh, pro Alan groups. Uh, about 30 groups coming together to organize this health work, purposely to call on Alan Kojo Chairman that it's time for him to resign from government and then start his campaign. Clad in party colors and paraphernalia with pro Alan Tremantin inscriptions, the pro Alan supporters, including Queen's Group, Volunteers of Alan, and Party Stalwarts, wildered placards through the principal streets. Some of them have been speaking to join news. Alan Tremantin is coming like articulator yeah. track. Oh, How yeah. can any human being stand the way of an articulator track? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't stand where ever ball, ever ball, ever ball, ever ball, ever ball, ever ball, ever we were boys. Yes. Now boys are men. And the was a year be a year. We break it. We are break it. We are pagan of fortune. No one is perfect. Baby, I just want to be a man of fancy. No more the person of Alan Chemate. The Kufuor like person. What is here? No more is it. Kufuor government. No. Baby, I will say. Now Alan has proved beyond any doubt that he cannot rule this country. So it's a stand. Let's give him a chance for him to give, deliver what he has for this country. If a man keeps telling you he has something to give you, give him a chance for him to also contribute. Since um, 2007, as you know, he's been trying to be president. He hasn't succeeded. So I mean, I think now that the big men who are in front of him have had the chance, we ought to also give him a chance. I have faith in him. He understands the economy. He can deliver. <laughs> peaceful person, united, when he wants people to come together, you talk of Alan. When he wants respect for him, you talk of Alan. And that is what I know. You know I'm a musician, and that will not be accepted, of course. Definitely we want to do something for him. Me a bad time. Na na kufuwa do baye, or the free education. E baye. Alan in the power, obe timi a tuwa free education, so. Na we timi a buwa ama e juma. And so about me, you move. Oh, four years, never be brave. You must have said the panel. They say, oh, four years, ten years, everyone you move to a bar. Oh, but you make creative jobs. He's the trade minister. Look at one district, one factory, and look at the industrialization. Look at the things that he's bringing on board. Yeah, so this yeah. foretells, or this is a clear evidence that showcase or pinpoint that Alan Chamanti is the right person to lead MPP to break the eight. Our tradition, Dan Kwabuzia Dombo tradition, at every point in time. Either Dankwa surface or Buzia surface, Dumbo is satisfied all the time. 1992, Adubuahin came. He came with uh, one alleged uh, chief. I've forgotten the name. He's from Dumbo. Uh, Don Ajekum Kufo came. He picked Ali Mahama. Dumbo. President Akufuadu came. He picked Dr. Baumia. Dumbo. So you can see the constant position of uh, Dumbo. But when Buzia is there, Dankwa will be out. When Dankwa comes, Buzia is out. So why do they want us to dump the gun? No, the tradition must go on. So this has been a riveting health work and the party faithfuls say this is just an ordinary 
health work. But when it comes to the rally, we should anticipate something more. From here at the Heroes Park of the Barbaria Sports Stadium, my name is Emmanuel Bright Kweku. And in spite of that apology coming through from Hopes and Adore and some organising members of the Adroso Health Walk organised uh, to endorse uh, Alan, the National Steering Committee of the New Patriotic Party says it has noted that warring trend of active campaigning going on for persons seeking to run for office. Uh, touching on the way forward, the party says it is scheduled to meet all aspiring presidential Hopeful. So uh, let's just uh, bring you excerpts of that statement uh, signed by the General Secretary of the New Patriotic Party. Uh, it um, has been truncated and we're just bringing you excerpts. So we start off from the portion where there's the indication that subsequently the attention of the National uh, Steering Committee after a series of events um, in the past has also been drawn to these instances, including what transpired over the weekend in terms of the Adros who walked during the committee's meeting on Monday, August 15, 2022. Now, the committee has resolved that um, Honorable Echo Vincent Sefwa, who's also been indicted by the letter for making similar comments in supporting a candidate, as well as uh, Hope Senadoya, who you just saw in that report making some uh, ethnocentric comments, as he's being criticized for, uh, have uh, been invited to appear before the National Complaints Committee as provided for in the party's code of conduct. That's the first part to this. Then additionally, the party is also uh, giving us a sense that under the instructions of the National Steering Committee, Mr. Alan Chermating, who was not um, at this walk, but then uh, who we know, the Drew's walk has been, in, uh, I mean, organized in his name, has been reaching to in respect of that a drew to health walk that was organized in his name uh, the statement goes ahead to talk about the fact that again in a bid to forestall such occurrences going forward the national steering committee has also agreed that a meeting be arranged with all presidential hopefuls of the party to court their support and full cooperation in respect of their compliance with the party's code of conduct and for emphasis arrangements are being made to that effect because the party admits that there will be definitely some challenges in trying to get all of the candidates together, particularly as we've not even heard from uh, the likes of Alan Chermating himself and uh, the likes of the vice president who are being touted as, as some of the preferred candidates going into the contest. But the, for the way forward, the New Patriotic Party is indicating through the statement signed by uh, Justin Kondia Frimpong, who happens to be a general secretary, uh, that they wish to further reiterate that the leadership of the party is determined and committed to ensuring that activities of all party executives or officers, individuals, groups, supporters, and loyal, uh, loyalists uh, of presidential and parliamentary hopefuls do not breach the party's code of conduct for presidential and parliamentary elections. So that's a clear indication we're getting uh, from the party as to what it intends to do uh, in the nearest future. Uh, but obviously, uh, the organizers of the Drews to Walk are not uh, elated about the uh, decision of the National Steering Committee to write to Alan Chermating. The group says that the candidate was not present uh, at the said event and was not the one who commissioned the South Walk. So let's hear from Emmanuel Osejinfi, who is one of the organizers of the Drews to Walk. Thank you so much, uh, Ima, for joining us here on The Pulse. Um, we've made attempts to uh, hear from the national executives of the party as to what exactly uh, has been written to Alan Germantin. We are not able to confirm the details of that letter yet, but it's quite clear that this is in relation to the Drews to Walk. Would you agree that you're creating more trouble for your preferred candidate going into the presidential race of the NP. And uh, as um, we await um, that uh, conversation with Emmanuel Sage and Phoebe, we uh, also do need to point out that some of the organizing members of the Adrosa Walk uh, earlier uh, this week rendered an apology for endorsing uh, Alan at that health walk in the Ashanti region. Uh, however, uh, that statement uh, was not taken lightly by the National Executive Committee of the uh, party. Clearly, the one who was behind that statement, Hope Senadoy, as we're uh, getting from the indications uh, from the General Secretary of the party, he will be arraigned, be invited um, to face some disciplinary proceedings. We'll await what the outcome of that will be, but it appears that Hope Senadoy is not the only one involved in this. In fact, he's been um, also 
carried along with Vincent Asifua, who's uh, reportedly made some statements on radio. And that's also to support another candidate, as the statement is uh, pointing out to. Uh, let's try one more time and see if Emmanuel uh, Osei Jemfi uh, is joining us now via Zoom. Uh, well, he's on with us. So, Emma, here we are, a Drusu Walk. Uh, you touted clearly the success of the program, but it appears that it's creating more problems uh, for the trade minister. Why do you have uh, problems with, with the party when it says you are breaching the rules and the code of conduct? Kindly unmute for me, Ima. Uh, Emmanuel uh, Osage and Fee, uh, obviously, uh, they're having some uh, challenges. So definitely try as much as possible to uh, get their perspective uh, on this matter and also uh, get some uh, clarity to what it is that the group intends to do. We could just uh, quickly bring you back to that statement uh, issued uh, a while ago by the General Secretary of uh, the New Patriotic Party. For those of you who are not aware of it, uh, the party is indicating that clearly uh, they wish to reiterate that, of course, uh, the party is determined and committed to ensuring that all activities of the executives, of officers and individuals, groups and supporters, as well as uh, presidential and parliamentary hopefuls, behave in a way that will be coordinated uh, and also to ensure that the party's code of conduct is not breached ahead of the presidential and parliamentary primaries. Beyond this as well, uh, the, the party leadership, uh, which is also being accused of some bias and all of that, has been trying to provide clarity to martyrs in terms of uh, creating the rules and rules governing the presidential and parliamentary elections. So uh, portions of their statement clearly indicates that the party wishes to further state that the institution and enforcement of some measures and the measures relating to the primaries are not intended to aid the electoral advantage or of any prospective candidate uh, not to prevent, uh, it's just um, targeted at preventing uh, the prevention of tension that often uh, arises in the lead up to some of these um, electioneering uh, processes. And finally, the party reiterates its commitment to ensuring a free, fair and peaceful conduct of the presidential and uh, parliamentary elections. So let's try one more time. Emmanuel, I'll say, uh, Emmanuel, we're having challenges with your connection. Um, let's try one more time. It appears you're creating more problems for Alan Germating. Yeah. You agree. Yeah, I believe you can hear me this time. Yes, loud and clear. I was just uh, asking whether or not um, you're not I mean, spoiling the chances of the trades minister. Yes. Well, the reality is far from what you're saying. The reality is far from what you're saying. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you want those who are trying to make things difficult for the ruling NPP, it is rather those from the other side. And there are lots of evidence to that effect. <laughs> you are in this country and you know the number of high-profile individuals, ministers, national executive committee members. The list can go on. Matthew Opoku, Prime Minister of Energy, we all saw him on, on Peace FM uh, making declarations publicly for and in support of the Vice President. Honorable Sayo Richum, Education Minister, is doing the same. Aziz Harun Afuta, the shocking of all, National Nasara Coordinator, who sits at national executive meetings, knows what is going there. He was there because he was a former uh, executive member of the National Executive Committee. On 27 July 2021, when uh, the former General Secretary John Boyd issued a statement, he was in that meeting. So he was privy to that directive. Yet he could stand on a national platform and make a public declaration that the incoming president after Nanado is a Muslim. Not him alone. Uh, Honorable uh, Ayu of Asoko, uh, if you just say Asokore, uh, uh, how do you call it? Um, Nana Obi Boahen, former Deputy Secretary Freddie Blay, former National Chairman Ken Oforiata, Finance Minister, Fusen Norudin, Northeast uh, Regional Chairman, Anodon Pre, Atachia, Samuel Atachia, uh, Musa Superior, Nana B, Henry Nana Boache, National, another National Organizer uh, mentioned here. So, uh, sincerely speaking, which of these two sides is trying to make things difficult for the, for the party? In 2021, right after 2020 elections, they started this campaign. And you are in this country, you heard everything loud and clear. So if you want to know anybody or the one who is making things difficult for this party, it is them. And I was shocked upon seeing the release. I was shocked. I was super shocked that uh, Alan Kojo Chiamatin could be rating to when in... 
I, I mean, why not? Uh, Alan is not Alan is not above the party. You agree? I mean, he's he's just I'm, one of the app appointees of, of mm -hmm. government and also a member of the New Patriotic Party. Uh, the, the laws should apply equally to him, not so. Yeah, perfectly so. Just like every other human being who uh, uh, claims to be an MPP member. The vice president, you know, is also not an exception. As is having a full time. You see, if the general secretary do not no, have... No, so what are you implying? Names, You're implying that um, the vice president be reaching to? Let me tell you something. Some few years ago, some few years ago, in the competition between Anado and Alan Martin, certain skirmishes went on, and when uh, the supporters of Alan felt like they have been mistreated, and uh, some of the polling station executives from uh, the polling station had to go to Accra to support in the, in the expression of uh, a displeasure or a grievance, which is legitimate and legal. What happened? Lots of these guys were suspended. Lots of, if you have been hearing what you've been saying, you've been saying on countless times that uh, previously, or those times, boys, uh, we were boys. Now we are men. What we are trying to say is, you see, it is politics we are doing. If you don't take your time, somebody will take undue advantage over you. And when uh, at the end of the day, the results come and you are cheated or whatever, it goes and nothing can be done about it. People were suspended for legitimately trying to express displeasure. Today, we see lots of people, all these names that I mentioned, they have been campaigning publicly for the vice president yes. who has written a press release but, trying to indicate that he has called the vice president who is equally not about the law mm. to order or to come and answer questions. But, but in, terms of, in, in terms of the magnitude, uh, just look at the fallouts from your uh, Drew who walk that you organized there in honor of uh, Alan Jermating. Uh, some of the comments made by the likes of Hope and Adoy, uh, clearly not in good taste, you agree. Uh, the parties beginning to act on that. And, and these are some of the activities, you agree, that could fall your, your chances of breaking the eight if you don't have a united front. So it, it goes to suggest that the National Steering Committee is simply trying to crack the whip ahead of time. Whatever the National uh, Steering Committee is doing, I am personally in support of. But what I'm trying to indicate to their knowledge is that you see, if you want unity to come, there can never be peace when there is no justice. We have seen it before. This is not the first time it's happening. If you don't take care and you want to sit back and follow every rule, when those you are competing with are breaking almost all the rules, at the end of the day, you laugh at the wrong and side who of the specifically and you are you, And who specifically are you uh, referring to at this point? I'm referring to the national organizer, Henry Nanabwachi. He has made a public declaration in support of the vice president. I am privy to a meeting where he organized all constituency youth organizers and took them to the office of the vice president. Well, uh, that's and a claim. What, that's what a, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, that's a claim we cannot verify right now. You, uh, you are the only well, one. Well, we are friends. We are friends with some of these guys. Yes. So, so you're not able yeah, to so. provide evidence as well, of now. Well, anyway, I, I have I've given you evidence mm. uh, to the fact that Aziz Haruna Futa, National Nasawa Coordinator, stood on a national platform. Where, uh, where he stood to talk, uh, fortunately, uh, behind him were the greater Akka regional minister, Henry Nanabwachi, the national organizer, and the general secretary himself. The general secretary, from his demeanor and facial expression, you could deduce that he, was, he, wasn't, he wasn't pleased with what the national well, Nassau coordinator said. Uh, but, but fast the forward. National but, was but, all yeah. related, but, hearing but, that the Nassau coordinator is saying that the next president of Tananado is a Muslim. But, but fast the forward, my, my, inference, my inference is, is that looking at the statement we're receiving from the General Secretary of the New Patriotic Party, it appears that your address to work is in bad taste. That The last time we engaged um, with you, you were giving clear indications that um, your group will go ahead and organize a series of events uh, announcing uh, your clear and tacit support for Alan Chermating. Uh, would you reverse that trend knowing that the National Steering Committee of the NPP has challenges with some of these active campaigns going on for presidential hopefuls? In any case, the reality of the matter is that during our Jews' work, there are se sections of our members who made declarations that sounded quiet uh, campaigning. And I'm saying, even that notwithstanding, I've given you uncountable number of names, persons. Yeah, uh, yes, in, yes, in, we've, in, gone the, 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 we've gone past that. We've gone past that. The national leadership of your party is not line. happy. It's not happy about their rules to work. You even say that you may organize a rally in the coming days. That, that's, 
the extent to which you want to take, to take this. Uh, the believers is beginning to crack your front as a united uh, party going into the 2024 elections. Would you reverse that posture and stop all of the active campaign going on in the name of Alan Jeremating? Respectfully, let me quickly make a correction. We never said we are going to organize a rally. What we said was, this is even an ordinary town talk. How yeah. much more? So you'll be rally? doing more. That you'll be doing more. You, you, you indicated that you'll be doing more. Uh, we didn't expressly say that. Uh, you see, how to, what, what we said actually was, this is a health talk. The candidates we are gunning for is not around and is not invited and is not on the known. If, if you want to know the truth of the matter, the, 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 the man Alan Chematin even asked the supporters to hold on because the general secretary has spoken. But sections of the members of, of the organizing team said, uh, how could he know, uh, be aware of this development two, three months away only to uh, make a statement to stop us uh, less than 20, uh, 48 hours to the event? Well, lots of things have, have been procured. Lots of expenses have gone into it. But so, that so will you stop? Will you stop? Will you stop the lots. active? We will apologize. you stop? Will you stop the active campaigns in the name of Alan Germating? Will you stop that? Most definitely. We don't have a choice than to stop. Okay. But we are calling on the other side, on, on the general secretary, to also speak to the other side who started, and it appears like uh, he's overlooking the, uh, all these names I'm mentioning. He's overlooking them, but the Ghanaian people know they are the, those who are, who started. And when we felt like we can't sit aloof and make them go on campaigning uh, to inure to the benefit of their candidate, whilst our candidates suffer uh, whatever repercussions that comes with it. That is why we also came out mm. with this uh, rule, so health work. And we thank God it was so massive and solid that it has shook, uh, shaking the foundations of whoever wanted to sit aloof, those who are asleep, uh, have been working. Okay, I'm, I'm so happy to, about to my this. next, to like my next said, point now, to my next point now. Was the trade minister aware of the rules to walk? And what did he tell you as organizers of, of, of that program? In all sincerity, when it raked his table, he was asking what, what was the purpose. And we said we wanted to just exercise. So you it informed him. Like you, you informed Alan Chermating that you were going to embark on this rules to walk, right? You see, one thing is uh, the, 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 the young people of this country we don't need to be told before we act. We ourselves got it and pulled resources together to do this. Why? Because we know with him in the helm of affairs, most definitely our plight is going to be better. So when he had, we didn't inform him. When he had, he asked the motivation. And we said, we just want to warm up uh, until such a time that the national executives will what come out. You, what first. were you warming up for? What, warming up for a presidential race, right? Yeah, presidential future campaign. He, yes, but so, so he's well aware of your intentions. And he, did he stop you? What, I'm interested in the answer he gave you because at least now it's been confirmed that officially the party is writing to him. Yeah, yes, he stopped us. He stopped us through a number of media. media and we told him that, uh, uh, Papa, preparations are far advanced and we are not going to campaign. We are going to, I mean, exercise to get ready for the task ahead. As, as much as he tried convincing us to stop, we also tried our best, making him understand that can't we uh, come together as friends and family and take a walk and enjoy ourselves? You see, at a point he felt like, well, these guys have made up their mind, but his position was that we should stop. Okay, because so you disregarded day, clearly... What you're telling me is, as organizer of the program, you disregarded Alan Chermatin and the directive he's given to you. Now you, you, you've gone ahead, fact, you've organized the walk, you've organized disregard. the walk, just hold on for me. You've organized the walk and it's beginning to create problems for him. If the party goes ahead to sanction him or perhaps suspending, we don't know what, what the West might be, what would you do as a group? I don't think there is any legal grounds on which uh, Mr. Alan Chermatin can be suspended. I don't think there is any legal grounds under the sun under which he can be suspended. What has he done? He's done nothing to be suspended. And, and if there is any form of suspension, I think it should first go to the vice president who perhaps, perhaps has hired a high profile uh, personalities, ministers, what a view to make public pronouncements in his support okay. on various media platforms. The, so in if the there statement. is any grounds, then I think the evidence is more than enough on his side to have his, him suspended, if there is a need for anybody to be suspended. In the statement from, from the General Secretary, we understand that a meeting will be held uh, amongst all presidential hopeful. Uh, uh, would you urge Alan Chermantin now to step out 
uh, and participate in that meeting. At least he's not told anyone of his intentions to run. Neither have we heard from the vice president. Uh, with this meeting that's about to be arranged, would, would you urge the trade minister to step out and, and participate in that meeting? You see, he is, he is an independent-minded person. He knows what he's about. He's a fantastic man when it comes to decision-making, right? So he can decide for himself. So with, with all respect, we will respect any decision he takes with respect to this invitation. And, well, personally, if had it been me, uh, since he is a presidential material, a, a credible one for that matter, and presidential aspirants are being called, why not? He can attend. There's this um, posture by... I mean, some of the splinter groups and, and the, the likes of yours that uh, appear to be attacking the national executives of the new patriotic party, just barely months after being elected. Uh, do you feel this is healthy for your party? And in fact, we're getting reactions to that. Uh, the statement from the general secretary says, all of the activities leading to the uh, presidential and parliamentary primaries will be free and fair. So in spite of all of these assurances, mm -hmm. why are you still having doubts about your national leadership? Well, uh, as I sit here, I have no doubt about our national leadership. Unless you're able to tell me who amongst us is trying to express, I mean, sort of uh, misguided belief. What, what I yeah, do. but you've what, just attacked uh, Nana B. You've simply attacked Nana B on no, this program. No, I, I didn't attack Nana B. What I said, I stated the obvious, that he has stood on a national platform to campaign for the vice president when his own executive committee meeting, for which he is part has sat and issued a statement on 27 July 2021 that nobody should campaign on parliamentary or presidential lines for anybody. Mm. He was part. And it's not him alone. Haruna Aziz, Puta, he has also violated the very rule he was part of, of, of his setting, which is, which is unpardonable. You see, if sanctions are to be met, these are the very people who need to be sanctioned. How can you be part of a meeting? That says, don't go here. And right after the meeting, you, you, you are seen to be coming from there. You get okay. the point. In all sincerity, you see, the MPP as a political party, anytime you embrace truth, we went power. Anytime you want to bury truth, the power eludes us. I think the national executives should be, should be very, uh, I mean, uh, circumspect with some of these things. Mm. If you bury truth as an MPP, you go to opposition. If you, if you embrace truth, then you come to power. Okay, Ima, we need, we need to go because we don't have all of the time. Uh, but I keep asking you this um, critical question. Would what you're doing now, uh, we know the end game is to have Alan Chermati himself step out and, and, and take up that context to, to run for presidency. What will happen if after all of these campaigns and the Drews to Health War, parts one and two, we don't know if there'll be three in the coming days, and then the man comes out to say, I don't want to run for president any longer. Uh, I've also given you the, all the assurances that there is no way this man... You see, uh, I remember there was a member of parliament in this country who wanted to opt out. The people said, no way. You, you've got to be there because you being there serves our interest and betters our plight. The same applies to Honorable Alan Martin. He cannot. And he dare not he, say he's not running. You are daring, you are daring us, him not, not, to, not to reject the offer? You won't allow us as a group? The, 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 the good people of Ghana will never forgive Honorable Alan Chamati should he even contemplate about not uh, contesting to become president yeah. to better the plight of especially young people. We have been unemployed for so long. But at least he's had every opportunity to do that. Trade Minister, quite a critical position, served in cabinet, and yet this is the result we're seeing. Um, the worst performing Ghanaian city ever and even the economic figures are not helping. So what would Alan change anyway if he becomes president? Yeah, he has been trade minister, and you bet with me that he has been fantastic there. The first time our, our, our exports have overtaken our imports, it has never happened in the history of this country. He, as a trade minister, has made it happen. There are lots of successes he has chopped under his ministry. You'll get time for that conversation one day. Anyway, if you, yeah. if, if great, you great so much point you're making there. Now, what I'm saying is, there is a tree at the that goes like, a one me, any a way in, and say, being okay. the trade minister and being the president, there is a huge difference. Let him be president, and you'll see him prioritizing industrialization, putting chunk of our revenues into industrialization, making sure that Ghanaian people are working, productive ventures, which will in turn give us uh, reserves.
out of what he has invested because they are productive ventures. You get lots of money from it to okay. deal with other issues. Yeah. Um, let's see what happens in the coming days. Uh, at least we are uh, on the lookout for uh, that meeting um, later this month. Emmanuel Say, a member of the Adrusu Walk Organizing Committee, thank you so much for your time here on The Pulse. Overnight.